Take me back to you guys when you were real young, though. Did you guys want to be into entertainment from a real young age? I like being the center of attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a teenager, teenager, I like to be, like, in the music industry. Right. Like, entertainment. And you like did that. cheerleading. Yeah. Okay. So you guys always kind of knew that you wanted to do something with it. So did it kind of take a little bit for you to accept that you guys were going to be, like, a group doing this together? Or how did you guys start manifesting it? What were you like in it high school? It, like, happened by itself. Like, we didn't, like, want it. We would just go out. Like, we would, right when we were 18, 17, we started partying. And everywhere we go, people would take pictures, ask us to do stuff. Then we started, asked, like, being asked to be in videos. Uh -huh. And then it just, like, went crazy. But we were just having fun. Right. And still to this day, we just have fun with it. But then we started out with uh, Lil Chucky from Mime CMB. From, okay. like, back in the day. Years oh, ago. really? Yeah, like, years ago, we uh, did his video. And then he actually named us. Oh, like really? Gigi. It was like a bar and like one of the songs for the video. What was, you guys didn't have any kind of cool nickname before that? Nope. What a shame. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a, I'm glad we got the one, like we chose it. It kind of goes well. I was hyped when I saw you guys. And then when someone said, no, their names are left cheek and right cheek. I was like, I'm sold. This is the best thing I ever heard. And then all of a sudden was embarrassed that I didn't know about it in advance. Because somebody else backstage was like, nah, like they're lit. Yeah, like we, 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 yeah, we is what it is. Um, <laughs> everybody like low key knows us, and it's kind of at this stage in acceptance that it's like everyone knows us, and some people fuck with us because they've seen other people fuck with us, but other people just like know of us, but they aren't sure if like it's okay to fuck with us and like they don't know accept what, like, us fully yet. yet. Right. But like, is, is it like the cool work. thing? Like, if you fuck with us, like, is it going to be accepted in the industry kind of a thing? Mm. That's what I think it is. Interesting. So let me ask you this, though. Like, when you guys are real young, was it was it weird? Did you guys get made fun of for the height thing? And, Hell and yeah. But, but did it, like, you guys seem very, very confident now. Was now. that not always the case? Or what was this like when you guys were real young girls? I mean, when I was younger, I had an older brother. So, like, oh. he always, like, took up for me. But then I stayed in the same school, so I had friends. So as I would move up, I would always have the friends. But I wouldn't, like, let it get to me. Like, I'm like, okay, they say this again. Like, But see, my life was before. totally, I was totally opposite. I dropped out of high school. I hated everybody. I used to rodeo. Like, I had a horse, and I would, like, not do school activities or have friends. I would just go ride my horse. Oh. So I feel like that's why, like, now I'm like, fuck everybody. I'm going to do whatever the <laughs> The heck I want. I mean, did it force you to become like super confident in a yeah. way that you might not have otherwise because you just sort of had to always be ready to tell somebody to fuck off if they tried to give you shit? That yeah. and reality TV made us like really, really like not cold hearted, but just we just we know what to expect from people. We've heard it all. Like people, they crack so many jokes, but it's like we've literally heard, <laughs> heard it everything. all. Right. Like everything. I swear we've heard it. I know. It's weird because we live in a world where all of a sudden it's like much less socially acceptable to make fun of somebody for being fat. But we haven't really got to that point with height so much that people still feel like it's like a good joke waiting to happen. But right? nowadays I feel like it's more known. Mm. Like you see more little people now. Especially and it's more like recently, the different. past like month or two, <laughs> Yellow Beezy and Blueface have been going very public with their infatuation. Oh, yeah. But person. everybody, there's artists have so many... I feel like infatuations with us and curiosities about us. Do you think that it's just curiosity or do you think some of them legitimately have like a fetish for it? Is um, I know multiple have legit fetishes to the point, but why would you post different little people on your Instagram constantly? Like, right. Constantly. Con who's doing it constantly? <laughs> Air them out. Mac Main definitely <laughs> fucking loves little people. And that's okay. I, really? I love that he lo Have oh, you heard his song? He talks Instagram. about us too. No. Uh, that's so that cool. Song? I do know Mac Main. Like what is it? From a long time ago, that Mac Mean song. Uh, uh, I just want to fuck every girl in the world. Right. His verse in that one. And he says he wants he to fuck a midget in that song. We met him or, in, when I we did check his video. Lyrics, we met him. And he's posted us on social media a thousand times. He proposed to you? He posted. Po posted oh. us. Like, I'd be on his sick page. if he proposed to you, too. Yeah, Mac <laughs> Main doing that. That'd be lit. No, I know Mac Main. He's good cool. guy. Um, so is midget offensive in this day and age? It depends how you say it. Okay. Like, if you're like, damn, he's a badass midget. I'd be like, ew, that bitch is an ugly little midget. <laughs> but it's like the word bitch. Like, right. I refer to myself, be like, damn, a bitch mad as fuck right now. Uh, but if you're like, damn, you're a stupid bitch. Exactly. But we hear it, like, we've heard it our whole life. So it's not like something that's that just like, oh my God, they said it again. There's no use in getting super uh, angry about no. it, but it's it's kind of the impolite version of it. There's a lot of people that don't know, like genuinely still to this day, it's crazy. They don't understand or know. And then when you tell them it's like not really respectful, they're like, oh, okay. 
Mm. But it's just like at the end of the day, my name's Emily or Right Cheek. Mm. Like you don't have to, I don't classify you as a white guy with tattoos. You can though. Yeah. I'm totally right. down to be discriminated. But your name Adam or right. the guy from No Jumper. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. I mean, that. I'm sure you, you're that a lot though, aren't you? <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. So I like we when people just call midgets. me No Jumper. <laughs> hey, what up, No Jumper? <laughs> <laughs> okay so you guys started like going out and partying around like 17 or 18 how long like how long did it take before you guys sort of started to like earn money or be able to do something with the notoriety that you're building up as soon as we kept yeah we did as like soon as little we kept gigs out. As, every time we went out like we would get little bookings we oh. got but we were very like naive and shy then in the beginning too like we didn't understand the industry then the industry is very different than i think some people assume mm. and we kind of got put like right in with the big dogs versus a lot of artists are like it takes they a while for you get in. really in there like where you're in the club with like mainstream artists seeing everything so like we kind of got put in that right away so it's like we kind of saw how everything was so we learned very quickly about things but it's kind of crazy because let's be real it's hard for women in general to get to taken respected. seriously oh, in God, the entertainment business especially music and shit because let's be real there are a lot of girls that are around they just be fucking basically just want to take some dick that's the only yeah. reason they're there um so any girl that's in the music industry it's like you really got to figure out what you want to do and you have to have a lot of uh, strength of character i guess i would say in order to make it i made a post the other day that was like just because i dm you or ask you to go to the studio or something like that like i'm not trying to fuck you like i'm trying to work like i'm trying to get some features like i'm trying to network with people and it's like it's crazy the second you dm someone it's like you're trying to fuck or the second you like support someone it's like are you fucking them mm. yeah but like, or like if they it's not even that we're really trying to work they don't like take it serious are well, still we're little and we're women I remember the first time that a super, super banging hot girl DM me. And for, you know, I had never had a super hot girl DM me about an interview before. Right. So I'm you like, trying to I'm about to click on it. And I'm just like, no way. And then it's like, I want to do an interview. And I'm like, oh, okay. That's right. I'm that guy now. Sometimes the DMs we get were like, how the fuck did you get here? And my favorite thing is story watching mm. on Instagram. Like the person that paid for Jake Paul and Tiana Mojo's wedding. I'm sure you know him, Tigger or whatever his name is. He watches our stories. Like every day? Like very frequently to the point like I screenshot us. it. But they don't follow us. So you search our name every day. Like a lot of people been so doing that lately. So many people. I it's screenshot weird. everybody too. That's so, 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 you know, that's and so I, weird. Just follow. Oh, you God. You have to like type in our name or find us again to keep watching our stories. So many people. Uh. And they just wait till they see us like after you post us, then they may follow us or like after World Star posts us, then they will. So like when I posted you guys on Instagram, all of a sudden y'all started to have all kinds of random people swim up in there. We've been had that, mm. but we have yeah. TV fans from the TV show. Right. We don't have like music fans and like no jumper fans. So was that like the, you all have no jumper fans after yes. this. Guys, oh God, yes. get up in the DMs. Let also, them know you love them. Oh God, check out our YouTube too. Official LCRC. He better leave that in there, not bleep that out. <laughs> no, no, of course not. <laughs> what, you think we want to be the only YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> no, never. We be lit though. <laughs> For sure. Um, okay, but so was, was the TV show the first like major thing that you guys did outside, like in terms of entertainment? Was that the first big Low move? Check you was the YMCMB thing. Okay, yeah. so right. that that first helped you get you guys out there. But then doing reality TV is kind of like a bigger thing because it, it takes, was different too. But yeah. it was nice because we were who we were. We were left cheek, right cheek. We had like already I think like twenty thousand or ten thousand followers on Instagram, which now it seems like not that much. But mm. four years ago, that was a lot of followers, right? For not being anybody, right? So. so okay, so you um you do that show. What was the show actually like? Because I've never actually seen it, but I'm very very curious. Did In they... the beginning, we were very naive, like yeah. reality TV. But then as contracts and seasons go on, you get much smarter. Uh -huh. Kind of like, but it was also like it. love and hip hop, but just little women, little version, right? Especially Atlanta. It, so did, was we your saw. impression of it that this was a cool idea because it was kind of normalizing and making uh you know bringing little people to the forefront of the culture in a way? Or did Definitely. you feel like it was kind of some weird freak show thing? Like, why are you treating my body type like I'm some fucking oddity? No, it's very educating because like okay. it helps a lot of other little people, but it also educates average type people of us. Mm. So it's like both. There were things that like drama. the network did that were disrespectful, but for the majority of it, the point of the series is to make people like more aware of us and respect us. Like we have kids. It follows like our pregnancies and like stuff like that we do normal things like duh okay. there's still people that like when we walk by they like run because they're like fucking afraid of us what did they do that was disrespectful in particular the show yeah well they added stuff so they make our music sound like shit they use like the audio from the mics and not like the recording studio oh. and they like fuck with your shit 
Well, and they like make you talk shit about someone else that you're not talking shit about. Like really? how they all edit it. So it's like totally made up. They'll just make it look like you said something totally nuts. Your reactions are real, but like the situations are fake as fuck. Like why would I go to a bar that someone else works at? They're gonna pop up. <laughs> like And they didn't know. Uh, and we, we all have no mics idea. on. All of us have microphones on coincidentally. Professional studio lighting. Wow, this is <laughs> like, so strange. Right? This is a really and, well like, lit bar. <laughs> that this person brought another little person friend from a different city that happens to be on another TV show and we're all just friends because we're all little people. But sometimes you watch reality TV and that's why it's so great. It's so bad. The <laughs> idea that anyone would ever believe they this. They do. They argue with us. They swear I'm a they bitch. Because like on the show it's edited. Well, it's edited and I am a bitch. But like we fight. But it's for So drama. you're the bitch and you're the sweetheart? Yep. Really? But it's edited so much that like, they're like, why are you friends with her? But they don't realize it's like. They think they follow us everywhere and it's like all real, like everything that they do. Mm. They'll be like, where's your boyfriend? Man, y'all saw that shit eight months ago. I have found somebody else. 